Earwax. Of all the waxes in the human body, it's probably the most misunderstood wax. For one, earwax, shouldn't it be called ear boogers? Yes, it should, Noah. But that is a pipe dream and we both know it. Yes, but hear me let out. Let it go, it's Noah, got, no, let it I'm, go. Oh, but I, mm. Really, just, just. Mm -hmm. Instead, let's focus on the wonder that is earwax. <laughs> The outer ear canal has special glands that produce an oily, waxy substance called cerumen, more commonly known as earwax. Should be called ear boogers. Agreed, but this is not the time, Noah. After the wax is produced, the motion we make when we chew helps move the wax from the outer ear canal to the opening of the ear. Then it either falls out or is removed when you wash. But why do we even have these ear boogers or ear wax? because it has several key jobs, like protecting and moisturizing the ear canal, preventing dry, itchy ears, and it also traps dust, particles, and microorganisms trying to get deeper into our ear canals and kicks them to the curb. So I bet that'll make you think twice about cleaning your ears. You know, my grandmother used to say the only thing you should put in your ear is your elbow. She sounds like a wise woman. She also invented the term ear boogers. Oh, makes her all the more wiser. Love you, Grandma.